All right, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Problem of the Week. Uh, so this week we're looking for absolute value of x and the max of two numbers, x and y, um, in terms of their partners here. So we know what uh, absolute value is, and we know what the maximum, value, maximum number in a, in a set of two numbers is. Uh, Almost intuitively, so the uh, absolute absolute value is um, just the number, and you take off its sign, make it positive. Um, but in terms of the max value function, uh, all you all you have to do is take the absolute value, or take the maximum of x and negative x. That way, you account for x, and you account for its negative counterpart. So even if x is negative, that negative x is going to be positive, and that's going to be the bigger number, obviously. So that one's fairly easy. Let's move on to writing the max value function as some with some absolute value. Uh, so here I have drawn two points on a number line in an arbitrary position. So that means that 0 could be over here somewhere, or 0 could be over here. 0 could be in the middle, or 0 could even be x or y. Um, so the thing, intuitively, what we're looking for is what is the farthest to the right, because uh, that's how we draw our number lines. Uh, so and we're also, we also want to look for an absolute value. A function that we could put in to kind of find this rightmost point. Uh, one thing that we know, or you probably have seen before in a math class, is the distance function, which is the absolute value of the difference between two points. And of course, the ordering doesn't matter because it's just kind of like the scalar value of the, dif of the distance. So I drew that out there. Um, and what would be nice is if we could just say, you just pick the leftmost point and add the absolute value of x minus y, and uh, that's the max. That's the maximum point. But to do that, you would need to know what the minimum point is. And, that would, and you obviously don't know how to do that, because we're looking for the maximum. If you know the minimum, you know the maximum. So, one thing we can do is look for this midpoint and, and then add half of that. And that way we account for both of the uh, values, find their midpoint, add half of the absolute, add, add half of the distance, basically. So, and of course, the midpoint between the two is going to be it's going to be one half of x plus y, and, and this works on on any uh, part of the number line, if, if you're positive, ne negative, or a mix of positive and negative numbers. So, and so to that, we're adding half of the absolute value. We can take out the one half. And here we have the max value function using uh, only the absolute value function. Um, so, yeah. Uh, well, you, you might want to try on your own to ch kind of check and uh, put the, uh, and use the, um, what am I talking about? So, yeah, uh, substitute the, the absolute value function in terms of the max value function we found earlier into this one. and. Uh, kind of work things out and things should equal each other. Uh, so thank you for watching this problem of the week. If you'd like to see more problems of the week, subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out our website for um, a vast library of math content, then you can do so on these links here. Uh, of course, if you're on a mobile device, then you can click the card in the corner. Thank you for watching and have a good day.